Okay, this is just one of my questions on my final exam, so I just want to do a solution video for you guys. So, we are given a sequence, and first we are going to fill in the blanks, and then we are going to figure out a formula for the an term, and then we take the limit of an, and then we take the sum of an when you go from 1 to infinity. Alright, so here we go. If you could look at from 1 half to negative 1 third, it might not be too easy to see like, what's going on, but if you go from here to here, you can see that from negative 1 to 2, you can just multiply by negative 2. And for the bottom, you can just multiply 3 by 3 and you get 9. So in another word, to go from here to here, we can just multiply by negative 2 on the top and then 3 on the bottom. In another word, it's just multiplied by negative 2 over 3. And does that work for from here to here? 2 times negative 2, we do get negative 4. 3 times 9 in the denominator, we do get 27. Therefore, yes, we still multiply this by negative 2 over 3, so it's still correct. And perhaps the small tricky part is, if you look at from 1 half to negative 1 third, uh, some of you guys missed that because if you do multiply this by negative 2 over 3, this 2 and that 2 cancel, so you still get a 1, but that's still negative because it alternates. So that's pretty much the pattern. And of course, to go from here to here, you just keep multiplying by negative 2 over 3. This is a geometric sequence, so it's not that bad at all. Anyway, to figure this out, you just multiply negative 4 times negative 2, you get positive 8 over 27 times that, which is 81. And then for this one, 8 times this is negative 16 over this times that is 243. So we are done. All right, so here we go. This right here, as we mentioned it, it is a geometric sequence. So let's put down the formula for the general term. An equals the general formula for An, which is A1, the first term of our sequence, and then we multiply by r raised to the n minus 1 power. Well, remember, in our situation here, n starts with 1, so you do have the n minus 1 right here, right, and all that. All right, A1 is just 1 half, so you just put out down and then r is negative 2 over 3, so you just multiply by negative 2 over 3, and then you just write it as raised to the n minus 1 power, and you are done. So this right here is the formula. Alright, next, we will take, so this is like part 1, okay? Part 2, we take the limit as n goes to infinity of a n. So, of course, you have to look at this right here, and you can also see that the terms are getting smaller and smaller, and in fact, it does approach zero. And to see that, you can just take the limit as n goes to infinity and just put this down right here. 1 half times negative 2 over 3 to the n minus 1 power. Because the r, namely the common ratio, its absolute value is less than 1. When you have something less than 1 to a positive infinity power, minus 1 is still infinity, this right here is 0. So, 0. So in another word, a n converges to zero. So I'll, perhaps I will just write this down. In this case, we can say a n converges to zero, like that, right? So it depends uh, if you encounter the question in this form, or maybe the question is phrased it as, does a n converge, right? It's pretty much the same thing. You have to know how to answer the question, All right? Last part, of course, you guys all know, will be the series part. So you take the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of a n. In this case, of course, this is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of this part, which is just 1 half, negative 2 over 3 to the n minus 1 power. Well, this is a geometric series. And as we all know, this right here, because the absolute value of negative 2 over 3 less than 1, right? So it does converge. So that means the sum is going to be equal to a1, namely the first term, and then divided by 1 minus r, right? So a1 is just 1 half, we can just put that down right here, over 1 is just 1, minus r is negative 2 thirds, so just put that down. And of course, if you want to see why this is true, you can check out my other video for this. But anyway, you can just figure this out. This is going to be 1 half over 1 plus 2 third. Let me just actually work it out for you, 1 half times. Uh, this is as 3 over 3 uh, plus 2 third, which is 5 over 3. So you kind of just take this and you 
flip that and then this times that, this times that, so you get 3 over 10. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Therefore, I can also tell you guys, notice, in this case, we say the series as n goes from 1 to infinity a n. This right here also converges, and we also know it actually converges to this number, to 3 over 10, right? So depending on how you want to answer the question, and this right here is it.